Hi everyone, this is your daily tarot reading for Thursday the 19th of October. It's a pleasure to be with you today. It's also the new moon in Libra today. And a new moon in Libra is always good for relationships and romance. So I'm using the lover's tarot today to give you the daily tarot message. I'm going to choose three cards to give you an insight into what's coming up and what you'll be working with on this day. So let's have a look. Okay, so what have we got? We have got Persephone and Pluto transformation. So that's in reverse. Then we have Dionysus and Ariadne. That's triumph. That's in reverse. And then we have the Prince of Arrows, Cupid. Interesting. Okay. Wow, this is really amazing. Okay, first of all, we have got Persephone and Pluto. Um, I don't know that, yes, Persephone, I think, is the woman in mythology who was kind of cursed to spend half her time with um, Hades, the king of the underworld, and then half her time with her mother, who was the goddess Demeter. I think it was it was Hades. They've changed it to the Roman Pluto. Same god. Okay. So it doesn't matter really. Basically, she was taking she was taken hostage. He made a deal with the goddess Demeter so they could share custody of this poor girl. Um, basically, no one asked her what she wanted. She was just spent six months of the year in the underworld and then six months of the year with her mother Demeter. Correct me if I'm wrong on this, but she had something to do with the seasons. And I think the story behind it is that when she was in the underworld, it was autumn and winter. And then when she came up through to visit her mother, it became spring and summer. Correct. And make any corrections to that myth below. I'm certainly no myth expert. But the great news is that this is transformation. It's like the death card in, in uh, the regular tarot. So it's in reverse. So... It's about a new beginning. It's about transforming a situation, letting it go, putting an end to it, like the six months back and forth. It's just over now and there's space for something new. So as far as the cards are concerned for today and for you, this whole back and forth when it comes to your love life is over. Sometimes it's great, sometimes it's horrible, done. There's a line drawn under it today with this new moon that says there's constant, these constant highs and lows are going to finish. We're done with those. Okay, so we're drawing a line under that. The next card also is Triumph. And this is Dionysus and Ariadne. And this is the world in the regular tarot. And this is the last card of the major arcana. And this is when you've been all, through all the trials and tribulations. You've been through marriage and and um, ill health and great fortune and traveling and moving to different countries and um, the justice system. You've done everything, okay? You're at the end of the road. That's also in reverse, which means that you haven't reached the end of your journey, nor have you find, found your soulmate, your love, your, your kindred spirit, your twin flame. Because if you had, this would be this way around, and you'd be done. You'd be sorted. So that I think that applies to single people. I think it also applies to um, married people and people who are in couples. You can always improve your relationship. You can always make it more of a triumph. You can always be closer. You can always be more, you know, solicitous to, towards your partner, more caring, more kind. So this is really that it's because it's in reverse. It says, you haven't quite achieved the triumph of love that you're looking for. The best is yet to come when it comes to that area of your life. And that's something to look forward to. And because we've got the Prince of Arrows, it couldn't be any better. Cupid, when Cupid shoots his bow and arrow at someone, they fall in love. And we have this new moon in Libra today, which is all about new beginnings when it comes to love and romance and relationships and sparks and earlier in the week we already had a couple of days where there were really good opportunities for love and romance so this is a major theme this week and um, on this day in particular make sure 
that you realize that your past patterns are done with. You know, if you're someone who's constantly date, like for me, for me, for instance, I've constantly dated guys who are disrespectful and who don't treat me with the res respect that I feel I, sh I deserve. So that's something for me to look at, okay? Some of you may be um, dating guys who always cheat on you, sometimes, or, or women who cheat on you. Sometimes um, you may find that your pattern is you date women or men who have some sort of mental health problem and you try and rescue them. And then once you've rescued them, they leave you instead of loving you. So we all have these patterns when it comes to relationships which are unhealthy, which, you know, we all get something from our parents. Some of us is from within. Some of us is from past lives. Um, our soul mission, all of that stuff. But we've got certain issues. I think there's no arguing that. I think we can all agree with that. Today is a respite from that because this card is in reverse. The constant up and down and constant pattern, that's in reverse. That's not applicable today. The best is yet to come. And Cupid, externally, little Cupid flies in and shoots his arrow and either someone falls in love with you or you fall in love or you both fall in love or you meet someone where the relationship could lead to something better and bigger and more beautiful. And that happens today. And it's not just because of the new moon energy. The cards are, are confirming it as well. And they're saying it's a great day for love and relationship. And that it's you, you get a respite from your bad patterns. And that you get to succeed and triumph today. But you've got to... You don't really have to do very much because Cupid is doing all the work. What you do need to do is be around people, connect with others so that, you know, the arrow can actually strike. Because uh, if you're sitting alone in a dark room, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. I know I'm being facetious there, but make sure you get out. Make sure you connect with other people. It's really going to help this whole process. So we've got 13 and 21, which is 34. And then 1 is 35, 3 and 5 is 8, and 8 is about power. So don't forget about the power of love, people, okay? You know, we all get, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I can get very um, in my head about all these things, and it's like, oh, is this meant to be, or is it not meant to be? Sometimes love just happens. It's, and the best times it happens is when it comes out of the blue, it's not manifested. The universe just strikes and suddenly you see someone and you lose your breath and you're enamored and it's just, oh my God, it's the best thing ever. And you could have never expected it. And that's this kind of day. So make sure you do something, you get out and about. Cupid is flying around, shooting his arrows everywhere. So it looks like a really, really good day for um, love, romance, and not just a good day, but a powerful influence coming into your life so there's a powerful chance that this will happen to you today because of that eight vibration and i think it has to do with other people i really do i think it's about relationships i don't think it's about falling in love with an activity or a thing which sometimes it can mean i really think this is about genuine physical spiritual intellectual human relationships so that's what i get for this um, day. Please remember to also watch the um, video on the new moon in Libra. That will go into more depth and give you more information if you would like more information on that. Um, please remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel. It's free. And if you'd like a private reading with me, then please visit my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab to audio reading. Please, um, look at the page and notice that there are regular readings and urgent readings. So there's a wait for the regular readings. You can also order an urgent reading and that'll be done within 48 hours. And in the readings, we can look at anything from uh, life purpose, soul mission, to what your vocational strengths are, to what your weaknesses are and personal strengths. We can look at the future of your love life, future of your finances, health, spirituality, spiritual progress that you're making. All of that is visible from this blueprint of your soul, which is your astrology chart and the tower and the numerology. It gives you a really nice overview and in-depth picture of who you are and what's happening. So if you're interested in that, please book the reading with me on the website 
and I'll speak to you tomorrow.